This is a preview of one of my current musical projects, which is the suite in B minor by Jean-Nicolas Geoffroy. In this video, I will be performing the Sarabande from this suite. As always, I will discuss this piece in more detail when I post the video of the complete suite. For now, I just wanted to briefly highlight two instances of Geoffroy's colorful and adventurous harmonic language that occur right after one another in the middle of the first section and more specifically in measures four and five. So what I would like to do is play the first six measures because at least around measure six we get some sort of a cadence and I am basically going to play what is written in the score. In other words, I'm not going to add any ornamentation right now. Of course, during the actual performance, I'm going to ornament this a lot more. But for now, I will just play what is indicated in the score. So now the two instances that I have in mind are this one here. So this one. And let me now play the previous measure so you can really get the context in a little more detail. Now, what I think is interesting here is what happens on the very first beat of the fifth measure, where we get this sonority. Because I think in a more regular context, these two measures would sound something like this. But what he does is he adds this little chromatic inflection with a G sharp. then resolves to the G. The second instance occurs right after that moment where in the next measure we have this passage. And what I'm thinking here more specifically is what happens in the right hand especially because the first two notes that we hear in the right hand consist of a C sharp and an A. But what is going to happen is that the soprano line is actually going to move to a C natural by the third beat. Meanwhile, we are supposed to actually keep holding that C sharp down. So that really what we hear is this. And of course, considering that this is also the highest note in that entire passage, this is a very dramatic moment. And this dissonance, this C sharp to C dissonance, is highlighting it and making it even more dramatic. So these are just two of the places that I wanted to highlight very briefly in this video. As I said, I will talk more about this piece when I post a complete video of the suite. For now, as always, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the performance.